Well, Ruth, first off, I think congratulations are in order. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where would I rather be? <laughs> it's a wonderful stage, isn't it? And obviously you play an extremely important role in Team Isle of Man on the physiotherapy side, keeping these guys like Joel stood next to you in good shape yeah. and keeping them out in those events. Uh, what's it been like doing your role here at the Commonwealth Games? It's great. I mean, it's lovely to be part of the team and, you know, we play a really small part in what these guys achieve, you know, um, they've worked so, so hard. So it's lovely to be even just a little part of that to get them out there doing their best. I mean, not just for the aquatics guys here, but anyone in the different disciplines, it's such an intense schedule. Like for these guys in the swimming, they were in a final the night before, they're back out first thing in the morning, but it'll be the same for some of the other events as well. So. How do, you, how do you keep a lid on it for them to make sure they're to make sure they're all feeling okay? Um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky this year because um, obviously we're split venues as well. So uh, yesterday I did the swimmers in the morning, went and did um, our para athlete, the badminton, and the boxing in the afternoon. Then came back for the swimming last night, and I think Joel nearly managed to wish me happy birthday at midnight last night when I finished treating him. So uh, yeah, long days, and obviously up early again this morning to repeat. So next week I'll be off to the cycling to do those guys so yeah but you couldn't bring any birthday cake in because these guys will be far too tempted after all the work they've been doing I have got no chance of even getting a slice with this guy all these guys there'll around there'll definitely be cake there'll be cake though yeah. <laughs> absolutely but you know working alongside the swimming guys the cycling guys athletics boxing all the different disciplines as well how great is it to know that it's part of the Alaman spirit really that everyone has that bit of a has a bit of a bond and a chemistry as well that's such an important thing in this in this group isn't it yeah it's huge everybody is so supportive everybody here everybody back home all the sponsors that help get these guys here um, it's a huge team effort you know and they couldn't do it without the team behind them and and the support they get from home so families running around after them all the time but yeah it's great I love man community, isn't it? Everyone pulls together and uh, we just love being part of a team. Absolutely. I know you sort of touched on this just before as well, that you're going to be doing a couple of things later in the week. But how intense again are the next few days going to be, do you think, for you, you in your position? And also, importantly, how much do you enjoy doing this job? Oh, I love it. I wouldn't be here, you know, annual leave, not paid. But where I wouldn't be anywhere else. It's lovely. Um, and I've got a good team as well behind me. I've um, got an, another physio, Isla, and also Nicole, who's a sports therapist, who's down at the track today. So, you know, we, we've got a good team system going on. So, uh, yeah, it is great. And just one final question on this subject. Obviously, over the years, we've seen the likes of sports science developing so much. It's become such a a crucial part you guys play such a big role in events like this and for these athletes now just shows how much things are progressing how much manx sport has been progressing over the past few years to have someone like you on the team yeah i mean my first games was in 2006 in melbourne and it's certainly developed since then over the years and having um, the full support team behind that's nutritionists sports psych um you know physios sports masses you know it has moved on hugely. If you talk to people 20 years ago, they would be like, oh, we did it with all, all of that and look what we managed to do. But, you know, sport is so competitive and if you can get those little gains by having sports massage or physio or whatever, then, uh, yeah, it's all to the good in the end and gets the performances like today and also last night, which was amazing in the relay. Those minute differences make all the difference, don't they? Well, Ruth, Many happy, to, very happy birthday to you once again and doing as proud as are all of Team Isle of Man.